Guys, I'm back with my friend Nate again, and we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of keeping your spindle turning. And yes, we're in front of a Kitamura, and yes, it is a spark changer, and yes, it is true geometric accuracy. But the point of today's conversation is, did you know that mathematically, before we started diving into the world of automation as a whole, the average uptime of a machine spindle was 40%? Yeah. 40%, that's 60% where nothing is really happening inside the machine. And I know it's super cliche, but if you're not making chips, you're not making money. And that is the absolute truth. Nate, we're here with you today. Let's talk about what this machine, Kitamura, and the ability to keep the spindle turning has done for you at HDM. Well, one, your percentages were way higher than what we hear at were HDM. You really? And we were close to 25 to 30 percent spindle uptime. Problem was, is our cycle times were shorter than the load and unload time. You got four vices inside the machine. You're spending more time taking the parts out, and now you're charging the customer for that time because that's how long the operator is standing in front of the machine. Just not good for good business. So when we went to the spark changer, it was mainly because of the automation of being able to load while the spindle's in cut. Huge game changer. We actually got this machine here up to almost a 60% spindle uptime when we've got the work to keep in front of it. It's chewing through work too fast, because now our vertical times were so much more, now that the spindle's up, I got more capacity. I guess that's a good problem to have. That's a great problem. <laughs> on-time delivery, on-time delivery. And normally in a situation like this, a lot of us think of horizontal machining, right? Because it's kind of, the idea and the concept is kind of the same of keeping that machine turn turning 20 to 25 percent though. And that's true. I wonder how many of you folks out there have a longer load and unload time than you actually do a cycle time. And Nate, I'm going to grab a piece that you said. You actually had what, four? Vices, four setups four, in there? Four vices in there. So it. even though you had four setups, your setup time was longer than your actual machine time. Your load and unload. Right, right. load, and, load unload. and unload. Yeah. Putting the parts in and parting the parts out was longer than the actual cycle time of those four parts. Goodness gracious. I mean, I think this is where we end the conversation, right? <laughs> so, yes, we're in front of Kitamura, but at the end of the day, update the technology, invest in what makes sense. If you're competing at a a level that where everyone else is competing on price point, the way to up your game right away is to do something like this and really give that customer what they deserve. The lead times are shorter, the price points are lower. Everyone wins, don't they? They all win. That's in. Mike, Mike drop over. They all win. Nate said it best. We are done. We are out of here. Come on, Nate. Let's get <laughs> out of here, buddy.